So hi guys, right, we are here at the Golden Place. Now we've been looking for, forward to this place for over a year. We are going to be spending two nights here, right, at the Catherine Room. Now the Catherine Room is the most haunted room in this entire place. And that's saying a lot considering the entire place is haunted. So we want you to subscribe, like the video, and share with as many people as you know, because this video is gonna be absolutely epic. So will you guys join me and Alan on our adventure of this very, very haunted place and join us on our paranormal investigation. special guest with us tonight okay so I'm standing here with Lee where well, she's been here before she's had experiences before uh, and she's here quite happily yeah going to uh, talk to you guys about her experiences yeah um so it was basically about four years ago we think um, we came to visit I hadn't had a drink or anything at that time we came in to have one drink we sat in the front um, we wasn't there for long we went out the back um, and I asked if I could have a look upstairs because I have a paranormal like sort of interest and I got to the top land well not the top landing this just up them stairs there um, and I had to come straight back down just this heavy dread awful feeling of like like I said to you a minute ago we went up there this someone was sitting on me literally like like that horrible you know I'm not the fittest person in the world but I can make that amount of stairs without feeling out of breath and it was just like awful dreadful horrible feeling um, and I say I've never made it past them stairs <laughs> until now um but I say out there I feel okay because I think because we're with people if I was on my own or it was you know quiet probably didn't feel it um but yeah certainly those up them stairs that's as far as I got and I literally right. came straight by that oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so basically, where Lee's saying is, is that basically the room where Lee's staying is where she was getting the most feelings, the most feelings of dread yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for talking with That's me. That's okay. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so it's midnight. Uh, yeah. Every, the bar's closed, everyone's gone home. Right. So what we're going to do, just to give you a lowdown of what's happening. So we've got loads of things here on the table. Right, so we've got the Ouija board, we've got a pendulum. We've got a mirror with a candle in front of it. Right, and we've also got the speaker which is attached to a, a high frequency microphone which is supposed to pick up things within the air. And I've also got the spirit talker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the spirit talker on. I've got the microphone as well. And I'm going to do the Ouija board. Now, the purpose of this pendulum is, is that we're not going to touch this. So if we ask questions and this pendulum starts swaying, then it's just another way spirit is called to communicate with us so I'm gonna start now I'm gonna you know so the spirit talker and we'll just get going okay one two three is there anyone with us right now in this room 
anyone at all who wants to come through. There's loads of different devices here you can speak on, communicate with me. You can make the pendulum move or talk for the board. So first let me introduce myself, my name is Lee, I did introduce myself earlier to you guys, right, we know this place contains a lot of people, so I'm sure one of you could come through and communicate with us. So could I ask you for your name please? Where's the footsteps? You're welcome to use my energy and communicate with me through the board or make one of these devices go off that we've got lying around here. If you could focus your energy onto the pendulum, that would be something. Is it too bright in here? Enid. Enid. So if this is your name, Enid, could you make yourself known? Could you make a bang or a sound for us? What are the lights? So, the lights up here is on the camera. So, and the other light we've got here is from a candle. Does that answer your question? Would you say yes if it does or no if it doesn't? Nothing's happening, is it? York is an extremely haunted city, and so it is no surprise that one of its oldest pubs, built in 1503, the Golden Fleece, is extremely haunted. One of the most haunted pubs in York, there are thought to be 15 ghosts in residence at the, the hotel, but the most noted of which, and the most talked about, is Lady Alice Pickett, wife of John Pickett who used to be the mayor of York and also the owner of the hotel. Another of the ghosts is a Canadian airman who fell to his death from one of the upper windows of the hotel during World War II. These pictures were taken by the manager of Ghost Faces in the window. Okay guys, so we are in the front bar at the Golden Fleece. So this is the oldest part of the building, right? So sorry, so as you as you can hear the meter keeps going up and the temperature this keeps altering, going up and down, it's kind of like fluctuating. Right, 
So I think it's a good time for us to do the spirit box here, right? So we can get some kind of activity. So what we've got, we've got the pendulum set up, right? So if that starts moving, which will be ideal, right? None of us are gonna touch it. Um, I'm gonna do the spirit box, I'm gonna ask a few questions. Hopefully the meter will uh, go off and you know indicate that there is a presence with us. So I'll do it now. So is there anyone with us right now? If you're here with us, can you make the meter make a sound? Or could you make the pendulum sway for us? So I know Alice has been seen walking through this area. So I want to call out to Alice Pickman. So Alice, are you with us? Can you make yourself known to us, Alice? Okay guys, so I'm gonna while this is running, I'm gonna tell you a little story about Alice. Now Alice well Alice Pigme, right, she was um, the Lord Mayor's wife and she was you know she had loads of abuse from her husband but that abuse got serious and her basically her husband beat her to death and She's been known to still be here. So anyway, guess have guess have seen her walking up and down the stairs, uh, walking into this area, you know, walking from wall to wall, uh, like through the walls and stuff. So hopefully we can get Alice coming through on this on this equipment. Right. So Alice, so you, as you've just heard, I've told your story. Right. So, would you like to would you like to let me know things that I haven't mentioned? Well, like, what what year is it to you, Alice? Could you show me on the pendulum on the pendulum what year it is? By making that needle move. Did you just turn off the meter in front of me, Alice? Could you make a sound for me? No. 
Bang. That. Maybe movie chair or something for us. Okay, so we've had issues. Uh, the batteries died on the EMF. Um, I recently, well, before we come here, I replaced all the batteries in all the equipment. And so now this is completely dead. We've been having like ups and downs down here where the meter went Which? to red. The spirit box keeps mentioning certain words and phrases. Um, some are making sense, some aren't, if I'm honest. Pendulum hasn't moved. Um, but we have got like loads of orb activity in this room. Um, with the meter, the meter was going red at some point and the temperature was shifting something crazy, right? And now it's completely dead. It's it's completely dead. Right, I mean, I've, I've recently changed the batteries in it. Like, I, I made sure I changed all the batteries in all the equipment before I come here. So with the batteries dying so instantly, I mean, that's a bit weird to, like, to me, you know. So, I mean, we have got more batteries upstairs, so I'll just change the batteries over. But it's a, uh, it's been a weird night. It's been a very weird night. Very strange. The thing is that there are orbs floating around the room and in our room. There's very little sign on the meter, but it has gone off several times. I don't know. It's like I say, it's just been, it's just been weird. You know, it's like. This is only the first night. It's only the first night here. You know, maybe the spirits need to get to know us, you know, before they can feel more comfortable with us trying to communicate with them. Mm -hmm. But you need to you need to understand why right, that I mean the spirits here, they're not hostile spirits. I mean, there's only two spirits here that was are considered hostile. And that's uh one eyed Jack and what people call him is the grumpy man, right? Um, but Taste. the rest, but the rest of them, the rest of the spirits. I mean, there's like a, a, a young child who likes to play pranks. I mean, Alice. I mean, she was a victim of abuse. You know. This is actual CCTV footage. So, I want to introduce a special surprise which I've been going on about to you guys. So, our special surprise is that we've got a genuine haunted doll or possessed doll. Now, the story behind it is, is that we actually got this doll from a, an antique shop, right? It's from the 1940s. Now, this doll has had a pretty hard life, to be fair. I mean, it's a bit battered, broken, um, falling apart. So this obviously got us, you know, a curiosity involved and we decided to like, kind of research this doll and find out its origins. It turns out that this doll is, it's come from a number of places, right? It's come from um, a, original orphanage where it was like obviously played with loads of children um, and it was owned by um, a lady owner uh, and anyway it just carries on but anyway the research from the paranormal side of it is is that everyone who's owned this doll has had a run of bad luck right but what you can see he's had a hard life okay so what we are planning to do with this doll tonight 
is to use it in our paranormal investigation. You know, in one of the most haunted pubs in York. Okay. So you want to start now? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Microphones on. Yeah. So hello everyone. So, as Alan said, we're in the function room, right? Um, oh, we're already getting activity in here, okay? I mean, so I've set the balls off, the ghost balls. So there's one by the window over there, or the mirror over there. There's one over here as well. There's one on the fireplace. There's two on, on the bar itself. There's one behind the bar. And then there's one on each of the tables you see around us, okay? So, we are very excited about this because we are getting so much activity here, right? Now, we said that we had a very special surprise for you guys in this bullshit gun off over there. So we said we had a very special surprise for you. Now, we've got our hands on a genuine paranormal possessed doll, right? And we're going to be using that doll um, in this room, right? Now, we said that we're going to get a haunted doll in the most haunted location we can think of, and we've delivered, and we are going to do it tonight for you guys, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to do something new. We're going to do a seance in this room, and we're going to use the doll, doll's energy, to kind of power up that uh, energy level to get things to happen. I mean, these lights are already going off. Um, it, it's kind of crazy to be fair. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get onto it. We've got a camera there, which I'm talking to you guys now. We've also got a close-up camera, which is here. Right, and that's gonna be filming us with the seance. Right, so hopefully you guys will be able to catch everything in this room. Well, obviously, we can't man or see or anything. So, let's crack on, let's get it done, okay? Right, take the turn on. Can you join us? Can you join us and take part in this experiment? The sounds. Would you like to do that and communicate with us? Okay, I think the tips are in. So I call out to the spirits at the Golden Fleece. We invite you to come into this room and to use our energy and communicate with us and communicate with us you're welcome to use mine and Alan's energy could you please come forward and let, the, let us know that you're here there's devices all around the room which you have been activating. Could you please activate one of these devices now, so we know. Thank you. Can you activate one of the other ones by the mirror on the other side of the room? Can you do that one? Or one behind the bar? or by the fireplace. Can you do that for us, please? And let us know who you are. Can you talk to us? Could you make a bang for us, please? Or is that going to take up too much energy? Can you tell us who you are? So, I want to introduce us, you know, because we don't, we want to be polite. So, 
My name is Lee, and I am Owen. And we are here to mean you no harm, no disrespect. We are here to talk about um, you, your life, your existence, your past, your name, how old you are. These are the kind of questions that we want to ask. So we would really like it if you could come forward and communicate with us in any way you feel comfortable doing. So if you want to make one of these balls go off, make it flash, that'd be great. If you want to make a bang, that'd be great as well. Or even if you just want to speak to us, you know, or maybe touch one of us. Can you come near the table and see see the doll and see the meter and maybe activate the meter for us so we can see that you're there? Can you do that for us? So we brought you this doll um, so you can, sh you know, to show you that we are friendly. So we brought this doll um, as, a, as a gift. So we mean you no harm, we are friendly. So could you please communicate with us? We understand you might be a little bit sceptical coming forward and talking to us. I mean, we know you, you don't know us. So, but we have been told that there is someone in this room, um, a gentleman, and he passes through this room. Um, so, I would love to call out to that gentleman. So, would you be able to come forward now, if, like, pass through the room? Is that... Are you near the fireplace? Is that where you are? Is that ball went off again? Can you... Can you let one of the other lights go off, maybe near the mirror, the other side of the room, and let, and let us know where you are. Or by the bar. Can you do that for us? We'll be, we would be really grateful if you can do that. So there's a doll in front of myself and Alan. This doll is connected to your world. So could you please use the doll's energy by moving the doll in front of us? Um, you know, a hand, a limb, a head. Just, just moving this slowly, just so we can get your presence. Are you afraid to show yourself? We're not here to harm you. That ball's gone off again. We're not here to harm you in any way whatsoever. But we would like to communicate with you and, and actually hear you say a few words. So we have noticed the ball keeps going off on our one side. Is that where you are? Could you make that ball go off again, if, if that's where you are right now?
What about by the fireplace? Do you like the fireplace? Is that where you got warm during the winters? Can you let one of the lights go off there, near the candles for us? And just let us know where you are. We would really like that. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'll turn on a device on my phone that allows you to talk to us. Would you like that? Can you let me know if you would like that? And no other board it is. So that tells me that that, that must be over there. Because that... But one by the table as well, and the one by the bar as well. Yeah. But that board keeps going constantly. Yeah. Is that because you're near me, is it? Are you near me and want to communicate? Would you like that? I would like to, to hear you, or maybe see you. Can you make the meter? Can you make the meter go into the red for us? And let us know that you're here. Okay, so what I've done, I've turned on a device on my phone. Can you thank you? Can you go higher? More energy please so I can actually hear you, or see you. Can you do that for us, please? It would be really good for us to hear you. If you can speak to us, that would be really good. You can speak to us. Can you make the meter go higher, please? Please, thank you. Can you go higher than that? Are you in the room now? Can you let, let us know who you are, please? There's a device next to me that enables you to speak to us. So could you please say your name, please? Make the ball on the table next to the chair go off, please, if you're here now. Can you do that for us? Leave me alone. Okay. We're, what? Not, we're not here to harm you. Why, why do you want us to leave you alone? Don't you want to talk to us then? If you let, let us see you, it would be really good for us to know that you exist. If you want us to leave you alone, we'll be happy to do that. But you need to, you need to make us leave. You need to, you need to do something in order for us to get what we want. Well, get what we need to get. And then, and then we'll, we can leave them, we can leave you alone. So all, all we want really is for you to, you know, show some kind of communication with us. Memories here. There will be a lot of memories, yes. The, the whole pub, the, the whole of the inn has many memories. And you're part of that. And we would like to know a little bit more if you can tell us. Can you tell us something? Was, was you in the military? Was you in the army? Or the navy?
but you're in the room at the moment, and would you like to, to make yourself visible to us so we can say hello to you? Or would you like us to leave? We hear you. And when you say we, we hear you, who, who is we? How, ma how many is there? How many is there who can hear us? Is there more than one person in the room? Fourteen. Wow. Fourteen people in the room? We really do thank you so much for this information and how quickly you're answering our questions. We thank you so much. We really do. Can you make the energy more so that we can actually see who's around here and we can look at the meter and see who's who's here. Can you go into the red for us? Can you give us more energy please? And move the doll. Or touch touch us. Could you do that for us? Can you say yes or no? That meter is trying to go. Can you say yes or no whether you'd like us to stay here and talk to you or would you like us to leave? We, we really would like to find out more. Hello, Doris. Hello, Doris. It's nice to meet you, Doris. Uh, Doris. Doris, how long have you been here? Doris, can you make one of the lights light up for us now? Can you do that right now for us, please? Touch one of the balls that we put around Seat. the room. Seat. Are you sitting down with us? Are you sitting down with us? I don't like talking. Okay. Okay, we, we apologise, Doris. We're sorry. If you don't like talking, could you make make a sound for us? You don't have to talk to us there, you can just make make a sound for us. That'd be great. Can you light one of the balls up for us? Can you make one of the balls light up for us? If you don't like talking, we understand. Yeah, we don't. We don't want to, you know, overstep our welcome. Can you give us a little bit more of an energy boost on the meter, so that we know that you're around, having having a look at what we're doing. We're at peace. Okay guys, so we've just done the, the uh, sounds uh, session. Right, now we've put the spirit talker on and it was crazy because the questions we were asking then, as you heard, um, the answers we were getting come back was near enough perfect. It, you know, it really was. It was mad really. I mean, we have got a few more experiments to do in this room, okay? 
So we're going to be doing that now. So it's really weird because the balls around the room, before we set up the cameras, that was going off and honestly it was pretty cool, you know. But then as soon as I set up the cameras, it was only that ball that kept going off. Alan, do you want to show the ball? Can you set the ball off now for us? Just touch the ball for us. Okay, back to me. Okay, and as was doing it, this camera died. Right now, both cameras are being fully charged. Right, but this camera completely dead, and it's actually running off a power supply. Right, so what it's going off for? It's weird. Okay, like really weird. That was weird. Did you guys hear that? Very strange, very strange. So, anyway, what we're gonna do now, right, um, we're gonna do the necrophonic gap now, okay? I'm gonna, I'll turn the camera off the stand, right? Anna's gonna be walking around with the camera and see if we can pick up any old activity, so. What you will hear from me is my, my voice and the Necrophonic app. Okay, I'll be asking some questions, kind of like the seance. Uh, well, you guys know the routine. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to pick up some more activity with Alan walking around the room. So, that's what we're going to do now, okay? If you just want to walk around and just see if you get any activity, and I will... I'll have this camera running on me constantly in the spirit box, so there's like always footage. Is there anyone in the room with me right now? So, I was just speaking to Doris. Is Doris still with us? Why do, you, why do you want us to leave you so badly? So, I keep hearing the word leave. So, why do you want us to leave? So hello everyone, 
So is the morning. Our nights, or well, our time here, has been one of the craziest, craziest experiences that we've had. We have had so many ups and downs. We, at some point, we believed we wasn't getting anything. So, but our findings here was wasn't you know anything evil. Wasn't anything you know wanting to cause us harm. So we can honestly say that this place is full of you know friendly spirits, friendly ghosts. Um, but I do want to say one thing that. The person next to me, well, this school next to me, is from um, actually original school, which belonged to a lady called Elizabeth Johnson. It's believed that she was the last person to be hanged, and her body was stored in the cellar of this building. Elizabeth Johnson was hanged because she was believed to be a witch. So we hope you guys have enjoyed our visit here at the most haunted inn in York, the Golden Fleece. We recommend you guys coming down to this amazing place and spending the night here. So if you guys could subscribe to the channel, if you could smash that like button and if you could share it with as many people as you know, it will be a great opportunity to get our message out to the wider public that not all spirits are evil spirits and we hope you continue to follow us on our paranormal investigations <laughs>